Okay, boys and girls, I wanted to share this book with you. It's called Honey Bee Life Cycle, and it's just like some of the other ones we've been reading. It's going to tell us all about bees and the honey bee, especially. Okay, so. Ooh, there's. That's a pretty cool. Beehive, huh? There was probably lots of honey in there and lots of bees. Here's our table of contents. It's going to tell us all that we're going to learn in here. Okay. What is a life cycle? All animals and humans go through the different stages of their life as they grow and change. This is called a life cycle. There's our life cycle again, remember? We've seen that before. What is a bee? A bee is an insect. It has four wings, which it uses to fly, five eyes, and six legs. There's his eyes. There's his wings. And there's his legs. He's got a lot of legs. Okay, we'll start with the eggs. The queen bee lays eggs in special cells of honeycomb. The honeycomb is inside the bee's home, known as a colony. There is normally one adult queen in each colony. And I think the queen is usually a little bigger than the rest. The queen lays one egg in each cell of the honeycomb. A well-fed and happy queen can lay up to 1,500 eggs per day during spring. So there's the cell where she lays her egg. And then the worker bees take care of the eggs. And here's the larva. After around three days, the egg hatch into larva at this stage, they have no legs, eyes, or wings. Worker bees fed most of the larva with royal jelly and a mixture of honey and pollen. These larvae will become female workers and male drones. There's the royal jelly. There's the queen larva. And there's the queen cell. One larva is fed a lot of royal jelly to help it grow larger and become a queen. Growing larvae. The larvae grow very quickly, which means that their skin gets too small for their bodies and they shed their old skin and grow a new, bigger skin underneath just like a lot of the other bugs we read about this week. Worker bees feeding the larva, that's what's going on here. Can you spot the larvae? And then they make a wax cap. Let's read about that. After around six days, the larvae have grown and will become workers, drones, or new queens. Those are the three jobs. You could be a worker, a drone, or a queen. And the workers cap the cells with wax. So these have the wax. And these do not have the wax yet. Changing larvae. Once the larvae have grown big enough, they spin a coat of silk around themselves, and this is called a cocoon. Wow. Before they are adult bees, the eggs and larvae are known as the brood. Inside the cocoon, the larva is changing. Its eyes, legs, and wings begin to form, and the hairs that cover its body develop. Now it's starting to look like more of a bee. Inside the cocoon, 
the pupa is changing into an adult honeybee. Around, after around 12 days, it chews its way through the wax cap as an adult bee, and it joins the rest of the hive to begin adult life. Adult bees are either queens, drones, or workers. They all have special jobs to do in the hive. There's the queen, she's the biggest. There's the drone, and there's the worker. Queens are only raised when the colony needs a new one. Brilliant bees. Honeybees make the sweet honey that we can eat and buy in shops. Honey is made from the nectar that the worker bees collect from the flower. There's the honey. And I have my honey right here. This was the honey I put on my yogurt the other day. And I put it in my smoothies too. Yummy. Look at that. There are around 20,000 types of bee in the world. In the hive, bees communicate with each other by doing a spe special sort of dance called the waggle dance. They do this to tell each other important information, such as where they can find food outside of their colony. Looking for food, worker bees collect nectar and pollen for their food and bring it back to the hive for the other bees to eat. Nectar and pollen is found in flower heads. Sometimes we see bees on flowers, right? We know what they're doing. Worker bees carry pollen in special baskets on their legs. Look at that. He's carrying a pollen basket on his leg. Worker bees look brightly colored, look for brightly colored flowers to find nectar and pollen. They drink it using their long tongues, which they use just like a straw. World Record Breakers. The world's largest bee colony was found in Texas and it was over 19 feet. That's as big as a house. Fun fact, the colony had over 500,000 bees and was in the wall of a house. <gasps> wow. The world's largest bee female leaf cutter bee and it's 1.5 inches large. That's a big bee. The leaf cutter bee makes its home in a termite's nest. Let's review the life cycle of a honeybee. A queen bee lays the egg in the wax shell. And then a larva hatches from an egg. The larva changes in the cocoon. And the larva changes into an adult bee. There you go. See if you can spot any bees in your backyard or local park. The best time to look for bees is in the summer when it's warm and sunny. Watch what they are doing. Are they collecting food? And I think that's the end. Very good. So, God made all the animals and all the insects and everything on the earth so special. Honeybees have a purpose. They help us have beautiful flowers and they help us make honey, which we love to have and eat. Yum. I hope you like that.